Hey Pisces, welcome to your reading for July 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading, yes? So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information is in the description box below. You will also find links to uh, calculate your both Eastern or Western chart um, in astrology. I had that up there for a while, um, but then I took it down and then I really, really, really wanted to put it back in. So I put it back. Um, and it's really just for you guys to, you know, investigate, explore, see which ones you resonate with most. I personally resonate a lot with my Eastern chart, a lot more than I do with my Western chart a lot of the time. So um, because of because I appreciate that, I wanted to give you guys the option of getting into that, digging into that yourselves, okay? So all you really have to do, it's all the same information that you would need to calculate the Eastern chart um, and then just compare, you know, if you want to go on like a video binge, watch the Western side and then watch the Eastern side and see which ones resonate with you the most. And then as time goes on, um, you know, continue with whatever resonates most with you. OK. Um, also, keep in mind that these readings are timeless. So just because it's coming through for the month of July does not mean it has to resonate for July. July. Whenever you are watching this reading, regardless of the time frame and it resonates with you at that moment, then that was the message for you for that time period. Yeah. All right, Pisces, let's get into it. So um, I was channeling your energy and I was feeling I was seeing white. OK, which to me represents. Well, it is white is a color of purity innocence. Um, what I'm picking up here in this pre-shuffle for you is that there is someone that you are uh, associated with, someone that you have dealt with in the past, um, or maybe someone that you are still associating with now or, you know, still connected to now or whatnot, whatever. Excuse me. There is a situation in which uh, th that's come to an end. There was a lot of deception here, you know, seven of swords. Um, but wh ultimately, whatever that situation was, it's leading. Um, at first, I was just picking up that it was leading the other person to go on some sort of deep soul searching that is helping them find the feminine within, reconnect with the feminine within. But also, I feel like you're doing that too. And there is a purification process that's happening on both sides, especially when it comes to the feminine here with the Queen of Wands. Um, and then underneath the deck is the Ten of Swords. Okay, so what the Ten of Swords literally just said to me was that whatever deceptive energy that you dealt with in this situation, Pisces, that's coming to an end through your efforts of soul searching, through your efforts of soul searching, yes, and healing your own inner feminine. Now, um, let me just say this. I know many of you already are, are already aware of it, but I do feel like I feel compelled to, to reiterate this. When I'm talking about the masculine or the feminine, I'm not talking about gender. I'm not talking about man or woman. I'm talking about energy. So me personally, obviously, you can see that I'm physically male, but I resonate more with feminine energy than I do with masculine energy. So <clears throat> and also everybody has masculine and feminine energies okay within them all right they're two parts of you they're parts of who you are all right i won't get into all that but i just wanted to make that clear in case some of you were getting a little confused about this <clears throat> now the other thing here is we could in fact be talking about twin flames because first of all i do see the um King and the Queen of Wands as the physical three-dimensional representation of the mas divine masculine and the divine feminine energies that are a, so that are um, a, a major part of the whole twin flame journey. Again, we're not going to get into the, the, the details of that. Um, we can talk about that another time. But also, when the Seven of Swords came out, I was I was. Um, guided to look underneath the deck and underneath the deck was the emperor and in terms of the spiritual aspect so we have the king and the queen of wands as the three-dimensional representations of the divine masculine and divine feminine the spiritual representations are the emperor and the empress and so there was a masculine now 
This doesn't have to be Twin Flames, but I'll get there in a second. If you are, if this is Twin Flames, the Divine Masculine in this situation was incredibly deceptive. And that's nothing new to us. And if you are a masculine that's watching this and you were on that side of the equation as being really deceptive or whatnot, I'm not trying to pass judgment on you. I'm not trying to, to, to you know, dig in on you or like whatever. I'm just saying, I'm just reading the, I'm just reading the energies and it's just, that's what it was in the past. Okay, great. Ultimately, it was part of the journey anyway. It's part of us, all of us learning. So I'm not, please don't feel bad. I'm not trying to make you feel any worse than you may already feel about the situation. Um, but the masculine was super deceptive and the feminine was super needy. Not gonna lie, I was there too. I'm the feminine in the situation. And let me tell you, I was a needy ass bitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, we all had our challenges that we had to deal with, but now ultimately all of this is coming to an end, okay, and we are learning about ourselves and we're healing our own inner feminine energy and also healing our own masculine energy too. The more we heal the, the feminine, the more the masculine heals, or the more we heal the masculine, the more the feminine heals, okay? We're all intertwined. Now, if we're not talking twin flames, we're talking the inner masculine and feminine energies for you. So you dealt with a situation, I'm hearing narcissist, okay, fine. You dealt with a situation that was sticky and was nasty and was deceptive, a a cheating, lying, backstabbing, whatever. Even if this is just friendships, we don't have to be talking romantic relationships here. Ultimately though, it's leading you to find your inner strength, your inner divine feminine, your inner badass bitch and heal that, okay? That's actually a really good thing, Pisces. Oh, you also could be dealing with an Aries, Queen of Wands, or maybe another fire sign, Leo or Sagittarius. You also could be dealing with a Virgo. <laughs> okay. Here we go, guys. So now let's get into it. Let's see what else we have here for you, Pisces. Ooh, bear with me, guys. My nose is starting to itch. <laughs> okay, here we go. So if me rubbing my nose upsets you, grosses you out, is distracting, you might just want to not watch anymore and just listen. Because <laughs> honestly, it's starting. Okay, here we go, guys. Oh, good Lord. All right. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of July, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, I'm giving this five shuffles, but also Spirit is reminding me to go back to what I was saying before. What I was originally picking up on in the pre-shuffle was that the person that you are associated with or the masculine energy that you're associated with in this situation is the one that's really going through some deep soul searching and is finding their inner feminine. Spirit really wanted me to reiterate that. And now I'm also seeing purple. I, I, white came back up again. So yes, there is a purification process that's happening for both parties. Um, but purple is coming up too in terms of divine wisdom coming through. And when I was talking about, um, you know, the, how we, def who we, the, the fact that, you know, the masculine and feminine are represented by the king and queen of wands and the emperor and the empress, I was also hearing the high priestess and I'm hearing it again. And that's what that purple energy represents. The high priestess is a gatekeeper, is um, the keeper of all, all knowledge, all universal knowledge. And so it's almost like she's opening her book for some of you to read or to gain some new insight. Okay, that's three. But this, but whatever that healing that we were talking about, this purification is, yes, happening for both parties, but it's more so happening on the masculine side because the masculine here is working on, is in the process of finding his own inner feminine and rectifying or reconciling that relationship. Four, I think I lost count. Oh, well. We'll say this is the last one, but I think this is five. <laughs> five, all right. <clears throat> Here we go, Pisces. 
sun, moon, rising, and Venus for the month of July. Boop. All right. Overall energy, y'all. Okay. Five of swords. <laughs> All right. But uh, uh, y'all still don't want to talk to each other, huh? That is a-okay. Look. Both of y'all just need to go to your separate corners, lick your wounds, let bygones be bygones. Don't try to force any sort of reconciliation right now, Pisces, all right? Don't do it. Because the more you try to force, the more the claws are going to come out. I, don't, I really don't feel like anyone is actively trying to be a shit starter here. This five of, en this five of swords energy just feels like a volatile environment, a volatile atmosphere with the slightest push, somebody's about to pop off and heads are going to roll. That's the kind of energy that this feels right, right now, like right now. This is the environment around the two of you or around you, whatever. Okay. Okay. Five of swords. Hmm. Well, would you look at that? There's that counterpart, the king of wands. Okay. The fool and ooh wee the sun excellent i like that so you re you could be dealing with a leo specifically between the king of wands and the sun but you see that sun card is absolutely 100 percent trumping this five of swords energy which is beautiful which is perfect i love that the king of wands is leaning in the King of Wands wants to reconcile this situation. You may have been getting some sort of telepathic communication. If we're talking Twin Flames or if we're talking some sort of divine partnership or if you are advanced enough to just be open to telepathic communication, clear audience, whatnot, whatever, you don't have to be a Twin Flame or on a Twin Flame journey to open up to those experiences or those abilities. Everybody's got one, all right? So if you're one of those people that's out there doing this Twin Flame thing thinking that you're better than someone else just because you're psychically aware, you need to sit down. Anyway, you, I, what, what is coming through here, sorry guys, what's coming through here is the masculine wants to reconcile and maybe coming to you, I'm hearing in dreams, but you're not ready for it, Pisces. You are nowhere near ready for it. And that is a-okay. That is a-okay. All right. Everything's going to be just fine but you have to let yourself heal first. And if there's a masculine out there that's watching this, you need to allow the feminine to heal first before you can take any sort of action. So take advice from this King of Wands here. The King of Wands knows exactly what he wants and knows exactly how to get it and is not afraid to take the action to do it. But he also is wise enough to sit back and observe and learn and figure out when the right time to strike is. He has no, no trouble taking action, but he also has no trouble sitting back and waiting for the right time to take said action, okay? The fool energy here is talking about a brand new cycle, and I really want to say it's talking about a cycle between the two of you, taking some sort of leap of faith. Uh, I'm hearing it's going to be okay. The manifestation is happening. You just got to give it time to, gl to grow and flourish. Things actually are much better than they seem. And honestly, I want to tell you guys something. Um, and this is actually more reassur reassurance for the masculine side here. If you're dealing with someone that is... How do I say this? That um, is incredibly resentful is really, 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 really hurt by whatever happened between the two of you and is probably pretty vicious with you at this point, it's really probably because they love you. Like, <laughs> a friend of mine a while ago asked me about this person that I consider to be my twin flame, whatever, 
um, she says to me, she was like, you hate him, don't you? And I was like, I hate him as much as I love him. And that was a, that's a really profound statement because I found that the, the more that I really, really resent something or am really hurt by something, that's a, an indication as to how much I really appreciate them or how much I really love them. Um, and so I feel like that's kind of what's happening here in this collective message. So, I mean, I guess don't get too cocky, all right? Don't get too full of yourself because this person is still in pain, all right? This person is still really angry with you, is really hurt by what has gone on in this situation. But take some solace in the fact that if they're just kind of like, whatever, man, and they can just be around you and just completely ignore you and like not even be care, they probably really don't care. But if they don't wanna see you, they don't wanna talk to you, they don't want anything to do with you, they maybe they've said, I never wanna see you again, I never wanna speak to you again, you are dead to me, this, all of that kind of stuff, they probably really, really still love you. So you have to give them time to heal, all right? Cool. Getting into your reading here, first half, second half of the reading. You could look at this as the first half or the second half of your month. I recommend that you look at it as the first half and the second half of your reading because time is an illusion, energy is a fluid, and things can just go all over the place, all right? But if it does resonate as first half, second half of your month, please take it. Do whatever is best for you, okay? First set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading here, Pisces, you've got the page of wands. Excellent. So self-discovery is happening here. All right. I, I'm just going to say this. I really feel like most of what's going to come through in this reading for you, Pisces, has a lot to do with the person that you're associated with or connected with. And it, 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 yes, this is a, fee, a reading for Pisces, but this also feels like a reading for the person <laughs> that is deep, that is closely con cl deepest connect deeply connected or has the deepest connection with the piscean because i kind of feel like there are some things that the piscean needs to know about this situation right now and so that's why this is coming out this way but take it as it resonates page of wands self-discovery reigniting of the passion but self-discovery the most. You see how this person, how this guy is sizing up his wand there? It's like he's, he's learning about himself in a new way. He's assessing his power, maybe even owning more, try, working on owning more of himself or more of his power, yeah? Page of Wands is coupled with the Six of Pentacles. Wow. Generosity. What this feels like is someone here is really learning how to be way more generous. Is learning about the value between give and take. Is learning the balance between give and take. <coughs> and integrating that into their life somehow. Turning over a new leaf is something I'm hearing. Okay. Second set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading here, Pisces. The lovers. We really could be talking Twin Flames here. Also Gemini energy. Oh. This bond between the, you two guys, <laughs> this bond between the two of you is strong. Is really, really strong. I mean, yeah, I guess for some of you, you have a choice to make, but I mean... Well, yeah, you have a choice to make, but, and that choice would be in um, what your true heart's desires would be, but the, 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 the biggest message that came through, the strongest message that came through with this lover's card is that you two have a really, really strong bond that's really not going anywhere anytime soon. <laughs> Sorry if you didn't want to hear that, but the lovers is coupled with, whoa, the Ace of Cups. Good Lord, Pisces. Woo! I'm getting flushed. <laughs> um, there is a choice to make, though. Uh, for some, now, now this is where the, the sizing yourself up or the self-discovery comes into play with the Six of Pentacles. The choice could, here is choosing to love yourself. Where are you going to give that cup to? Are you going to continue giving it over to people that really don't value you? Are just using you? are taking advantage of you, using you for whatever it is they can get out of you? Or are you going to 
give yourself that cup? Are you going to fill your own cup here? Now, also, the choice here is who to give your cup of love to. But I already feel like this cup of love is still being held for this counterpart, king and queen of wands, okay? Take that as it resonates. This feels like reassurance here. Like the universe is trying to get you to understand you both really love each other very, very deeply. I'm hearing it's only a matter of time also. Oh God, here comes the anxiety. Whoa, <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> All right. Your challenge in the first half of your reading here, Pisces, the seven of wands, the blockages, the boundaries, the barriers. Again, if someone has said, put those words out there and said, I never want to speak to you again. I never want to see you again or something along, or something fairly extreme along those lines. Yep. Those barriers or those blockages absolutely are the challenge right now. But you have to allow whomever, whomever is feeling whatever type of way, you need to allow them to come to a point where they can be okay with bringing down those barriers, those blockages. I'm hearing divine timing, okay. Seven of Wands is coupled with, ooh, the King of Cups. Scorpio energy, potentially. But love, Pisces, this also could be you as a water sign or a Cancerian, but the masculine here, I mean, the masculine is leaning forward. Look, masculine in both the King of Wands and the King of Cups, they're both leaning forward, okay? To me, that's saying they want to take action. And even though this person is very much is, is very much in love and knows that you love them too, feminine, they can't do anything about it right now because you have blocked them off, probably for very good reason. Again, you don't have to do anything you are not comfortable with right now, all right? You don't. No one is trying to force you into anything. So masculine, you got to be patient. You have to. And this is going to take some time, is what I just heard, for some of you. For others of you, it may not take that much time. But, I mean, general message here, guys. <laughs> Closing message or potential outcome here in the first half of your reading, you have... Wow! The Knight of Cups. Good golly, Pisces! There is so much love here. Taking a leap of faith, I'm hearing. Um... I'm hearing, I'm also hearing, start your way, start small, work your way up. I mean, you're not, you're not in, at least when it comes to the cups, you're not in pages anymore. You're not the page, you're not in the page stance anymore. Someone really has matured into the knight or even the king energy here. And that knight of cups would be that messenger, that extending of an offer. Hmm. And I said, I said messenger, and that sparked a little thing here for me. Advice for the masculine out there, maybe, I don't know, maybe try and like feel it out through their friends or something like that. If you have mutual friends or a mutual, uh, mutual acquaintances of some sort, maybe try and get, I don't know, that, uh, that, feels, that feels weird, even me saying that. That does feel weird. I don't know. I don't, I don't think I want to go down that road anymore. But hey, if that resonates with you, if you could, like, maybe, if you have the ability to discuss this with a friend of theirs or a mutual friend of yours or something like that, just to get a general understanding, just to maybe extend some sort of peace offering, maybe try and feel out and see if, you know, maybe we could get together, just hang out, chill, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't have to be anything serious. We don't have to have a serious conversation unless you want to. But, like, it doesn't have to be... We, let's, like, again, start out small and, and work your way up. Let's try and be friends again. Or let's just try and be friends in general if you guys never really were friends to begin with, you know? Knight of Cups is coupled with Ugh. the Four of Cups. Ah. Okay, but 
But, and this actually, I feel like this is for the Piscean here. Um, there is a cup that is trying to be, that's trying to come forward. That's trying to be offered to you. And I'm hearing in energetic form. So energetically, someone feels like they want to extend an offer, even if they, even if they may not actually be taking any sort of physical um, action towards this. Energetically, they want this. They want to do this. But you energetically are blocking it off because you are so focused on this three of cups situation here. Okay. Third party situations, whatever happened with maybe there was um, a third party uh, in like a romantic sense, or maybe it was just like a friend circle or something like that. Whatever. What, what I'm getting from this three of cups energy is you're so focused on the past. You're not recognizing that cup, the ace of cups that is trying to be ex extended towards you. And you may end up missing out on an opportunity. I really don't know. I, I don't. Honestly, the only way you could really miss out on, on an opportunity here would be to just delay the process. Yes, it would just be a delay on the process. Because ultimately, look, look, I mean, you have this strong, strong bond. OK, the lovers with the Ace of Cups, strong bond. Even if you two aren't speaking to each other. A lot of this is in, in energetic form, okay, right now, which is where everything begins. So don't worry about that. And I, I don't know why I'm hearing this, but I'm hearing it consistently. So I want to say it. Take, that, take this with a grain of salt. Maybe because it's not as serious as you might be making it out to be. Or maybe this reading is not as serious as I might be making it out to be. I don't know. Why am I? I'm hearing I'm making this out to be too much than it already, more than it already is. Oh. Maybe that's just someone's judgment. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Getting into the second half of your reading here, Pisces. First set of surrounding energies you have. Ooh, Ace of Swords. Knowledge, truth, honesty, integrity, understanding, seeing something clearly, maybe even speaking truth. Oh, mm. hold on. Ace of Swords is coupled with. Ooh, yeah, all right. See, looky here. Look, here's that high priestess I was talking about. And also, Pisces, this kind of can represent your energy, the high priestess. Um, yeah. Learning. Someone, you're really... The, I, actually, this was exactly what I was talking about beforehand when I was seeing the purple energy and I was talking about how, you know, there are downloads coming through. You're, she's like literally opening her book for some of you to learn some things that you're now ready to start assimilating, accepting, integrating. Ob you're not going to get everything, obviously. She's only, she will only open or give information to those who are able to handle it. And she's only going to give you what you, are, what you can handle. But the insight is coming through. The wisdom, the understanding, the knowledge. It really even could be an understanding of why things happened the way they did. So for somebody here who may have been really unwilling to kind of look at their end of the situation, either way, either the masculine or the feminine, and maybe, it may be even the feminine. It might be you, Pisces. But... Um, someone, maybe both sides of the equation, are really kind of starting to look at their involvement in the situation and how they handled it or how they contributed to what happened and how everything just kind of came together in one big old mess. Entirely possible. A second set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading here, Pisces, you have the Ten of Wands. All right. All right. But that's okay because ultimately, even though there's a lot of burdens here, the 10 is a completion. So you're at a point now where you can either keep walking 
holding all of these burdens, and these burdens really feel like the uh, events of the past, or you can start to lighten the load. And that would take this, the page of wands energy, the self-discovery, looking at each one of those wands, understanding what they represent, and then releasing them or deciding, do I need to carry this still or can this be released? Ten of Wands is coupled with ooh, the Nine of Wands. I, I really do feel, battered and bruised, yes, but I do feel like some of you are really kind of opposed to letting go of any of this right now because of how hurtful it was. But that's where the Ace of Swords and the High Priestess comes in because you have to start looking at these things and understanding things just for your own wisdom and understanding it from a point of view of not doing it so that you know you can reconnect with this person doing it so that you can lighten the load on yourself and stop maybe even stop beating yourself up about it you got to start doing that just healing and releasing and forgiving and letting go even if only for yourself right your challenge in the second half of the reading here. Whoo, the Knight of Swords. Ew, Ew. gosh. Well, somebody's ready to fuck something up. <laughs> Given the right circumstances, be careful. You, even energetically speaking, if you are lashing out energetically, you might be doing more damage than you, uh, is, than you might be aware of or than you may have even intended. But this feels like an extremely, extremely defensive energy, Knight of Swords. And it's funny because it's right under the Seven of Wands with the King of Cups, which is in the, the, the challenge of the first half of the reading, in which we were talking about uh, the blockages. Now, for some of you, you are having to deal with the fact that you have said some things that really could make it so that you never do see someone again. You never do speak to someone again. You never do cross paths, cross paths again. Make it seem like that. But I don't think that's actually, actually the universe is, or your higher selves are even really going to allow that. So divine timing is in play here because somebody needs to go through some really strong healing first. Now, the Knight of Swords, excuse me, is coupled with ooh, the star. Yeah, healing. For some of you out there, you're so hurt by this because, I mean, this, this connection was like your dream. And actually probably still is your dream. And so because you've gotten so hurt, now you're like, now the, 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 the claws, the fangs, the, everything are just out. But you need to heal. You need some time to heal because the star is, yes, wish fulfillment, the ultimate wish, but it's healing as well. Okay. The challenge here is mitigating your defensiveness and your aggression during this time of healing. Closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here, Pisces. You have, I'm sorry, second half of your reading. You have the five of pentacles. You are good enough. You both are good enough for each other. You are different people. You are individuals. You were created as you were created to be exactly who you are. Nothing more, nothing less. You both are absolutely good enough for each other. You have to believe that. Five of Pentacles is coupled with the Queen of Pentacles. But you see, this is where all that resentment is coming from. Because let me tell you, when the Queen of Pentacles, now, first of all, you could be dealing with a um, Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn, specifically Capricorn, because that is the archetype of the Queen of Pentacles. But 
<laughs> when she gets upset or when she is pissed or when she has reached her end, um, she can be very resentful. She can be very, very resentful. Especially if she knows who she is or she's come into a realization of who she is. This badass, grounded, financially stable, financially abundant, can do bad on her own type of person, male or female, whether you resonate more with masculine or feminine energy. Well, I'm sorry, whether you're a man or a woman, that resonates with feminine energy. But that's part of the reason why you, Pisces, or this other person or whatnot, may be so damn resentful because you know exactly who you are, exactly what you deserve, and this shit ain't it. Or at least this shit wasn't it. <laughs> that shit wasn't it. And now you expect me to come back to you all lovey-dovey? Fuck you! Yeah, that's kind of what I'm getting here. But keep in mind that you're still dealing with the pain. You gotta give yourself some time to heal, all right? But this is wifey material. This is wifey here. This is the, 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 the wife and mother. And she demands some fucking respect. Because she deserves to be respected. She is an unconditionally loving being. And she will love you no matter what through all of your faults and your flaws and whatever. Like, whatever. She is going to love you, but don't take advantage of her. That is the easiest way to get her to be your worst enemy. Yeah? Ooh. Okay. Let's get into your oracle card now. For your month of July, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. One last shuffle here. Ooh, thunderstorms are rolling in, y'all. Rolling in. All right. Here we go. Closing message, please. Spirit from a Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of July 2019. Closing message, please. Pisces, Pisces, Sun. Oh, this one. Okay. Card number 30. The perfection of your life. Never gotten this one before. Ooh, downpour. All right. Here we go, Pice. Have you ever seen a storm pictured from above? It can appear to be so beautiful, be so beautiful and elegant. This is certainly different to the ground view, which can be quite a violent experience. It's so funny, Pisces, because literally it just, like, there is a storm rolling in right now. That is funny. Okay. Uh, so, too, there is great beauty in, sorry, guys, my nose. So, too, there is great beauty in your life now. However, at this point in the natural process, you may be experiencing it as anxiety-inducing rather than beautiful. God, is that true? <laughs> you may sense it as internal chaos. You may feel it as something that is waiting to erupt from within, as a restlessness or an anxiety that you cannot quite articulate, but sense vaguely nonetheless. Perhaps the chaos is fully fledged and a person or situation in your life is causing all kinds of havoc, upheaval, or change and uncertainty in your world. It is like seriously downpouring right now. Wow. Whether the chaos seems subtle, strong, internal, or external, this oracle brings the same message for you. All is unfolding according to a perfect higher order. You are currently enduring a cosmic spiritual storm which is having an impact on you. It is clearing things out, ruffling feathers, and preparing you for that lovely, super fresh, uplifting feeling that one experiences after the storm has finally passed. Okay, 
If you cannot believe there is anything happening, even at a subtle level, because you feel stuck, denied, bored, thwarted, or stale, this oracle brings you a message also. No matter what appears to be, in truth, there is only the unfolding, creative genius of the universe. You are not forgotten. You have not been looked over. You have not been denied, found wanting, or rejected as unworthy. Let me say that again. You have not been, been looked over. You have not been denied, found wanting, or rejected as unworthy. The storm that needs to erupt is in your own heart. Do your liberating rain dance. Rage, weep, pray, dance, paint, or sing. Express whatever is needed, however is needed, and exercise that blocked energy in your heart. Then you will call on the powerful perfection of your own life path as it aligns for the next creative turn of the spiral of life. Once again, you will trust and directly experience the flower of life unfolding within you and around you. So there you have it, Pisces. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. Again, if you would like to look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information is in the description box below. With that said, I hope you guys have a great month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of August. Yes? Take care. Mwah! Bye.